please bear with me as I try to figure out how to create these videos with my limited technological abilities. Trick number 10, Julius, rapid math tricks and tips. When dividing by 25, we can multiply that number by 4. Well, we can't really just multiply the number by 4 and get the answer, but we can multiply by the number by 4 and then check for reasonableness and find a number that makes sense. Okay, why would we do that? Well, first off, remember the relationship between 25 and 4. If we have 4 quarters, we have $1. So if we have 8 quarters, we have $2. If we have 12 quarters, that's right, we got $3. That's why you see the relationship. Okay, so we have 500 divided by 25. All right, so remember what we said, we can multiply by 4. Okay, so that means you're doing 500 times 4. Now, that sounds like a big number to do in your head, but remember what I taught you about the zeros. If you do 5 times 4, that's easy, you can do that. It's 20. And then you could just bring down the other two zeros. Okay, that's 2,000. Now, let's check for reasonableness. 500 divided by 25, 2,000, right? That makes sense? Yeah? No? No, it doesn't, because when you're dividing, you know you're going to get a number that's smaller. Remember that dividing means you're breaking that number up. You're separating 500 into 25 parts. And if you're separating 500 into 25 parts, you're certainly not going to get a huge number like 2,000, right? You're going to get a really small number. Okay, so let's see what makes sense. Remember when we did the other trick, we started adding zeros and see what made sense. Let's start taking away zeros here since we're dividing and see what makes sense. 500 divided by 25 is 200. Well, isn't 200 like about half of 500? So if we divided it by 2, we would get close to this, right? You get 250. But let's take out another 0 and see if it makes sense. 500 divided by 25 is 20. That makes sense to me. Okay, and let's see why. 20 times 25 is the same thing as saying 2 times 25. We all know that 2 quarters is 50 cents. 2 times 25 is 50, and add a 0 at the end, 500. Test a reasonableness, check. Your answer is 20. Okay. So, doing a more, little bit more difficult one, 222 divided by 25. Right. This one's a little bit more difficult, because to do 222 times 4, you just have to do a little bit more math in your mind. Okay, instead of doing it the long way, in your mind, I just think, okay, well, I know 2 times 4 is 8. Well, then I know 2 times 4 is 8 again, and 2 times 4 is 8 again. So that would be 888. Now, again, 222 divided into 25 parts, and we know we're not going to get a huge number like that. So let's figure out where to put this decimal so that the number makes sense. In this trick, we just took away, in this question, I should say, we just took away zeros until the number made sense. Remember, taking away zeros is the same thing as moving a decimal to the left. So right now, where's a decimal? Remember, if you don't see a decimal, it's at the end, because it means that's the end of the whole number. Okay, so if we move the decimal here, 88.8, .8, let's see if this answer would make sense. 222 cut in half is going to be about 100, right? 200 cut in half is 100, so 222 cut in half is a little more than 100, right? So... 222 divided into 25 parts, that certainly couldn't be a big number like 88. That's almost 100. That's almost half. So we, divide, we move the decimal again. 8.88. So let's see. 222 divided into 25 parts makes sense that it's a little bit under 10, right? So your answer would be 8.88. That is correct. It's a little bit under 10.